19 and 17. Proverbs 19 and 17. And we bless the name of Jesus. Minister Way, I told the saints, you know, Pastor Cam, preach, Reverend. I said, pray for my late demon, because I got a late demon, but we're going to grow out of being late. Hallelujah. Pray for me. Proverbs 19 and 17. He that had pity upon the poor lended unto the Lord, and that which he had given will he pay him again. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Tell your neighbor on tonight, say, neighbor, we got to pay it forward, number two. Tell your other neighbor, say, we got to pay it forward, number two. We got to pay it forward to all men, especially those of the household of faith. We got to pay forth grace. We got to pay forth mercy. We got to pay forth love. We got to pay for get forgiveness. We got to pay it forward for long suffering, patience, teaching, love, joy, and peace. We got to get out of our feelings in the body of Christ. I've never seen so many people in the body of Christ in their feelings more than we're in the spirit. Tell your neighbor on tonight, I'm including myself. I just why I told you to pray for me because I got a demon that has me late. So you got to pray for me. But we be in our feelings too much. Get out of our feelings because feelings will mess you up. Feelings will get you nowhere. 2 Corinthians 5 and 7 tells us, for we walk by faith and not by sight. But we're not walking, Sister Adam, by our feelings. If the Bible wanted us to walk by feelings, he would have said, for you walk by feelings and not by faith. Tell your neighbor on tonight, we got to walk by faith and not by sight. Get out of our feelings. How we feel about this and how I feel about that. God never asks anybody how they feel about nothing. He didn't ask me, he didn't ask you what we feel about anything because he already know we mess up everything. When he, when he talked to Adam, Adam messing up, talking about it was that woman you gave me. Adam blaming the woman that God gave him. And he needed a woman and not an elephant. He needed a woman, not an animal. He needed a woman, not a fish. So Adam made up his cue. It was that woman that you gave me. We always in our feelings. Get out of our feelings. How do we feel about this and how do we feel about that? The Bible tells us in Isaiah 55, 8 and 9, talking about our thoughts. For our thoughts are not your thoughts. He said, for our thoughts. He said, for my thoughts are not your thoughts. Neither your ways, my ways, said the Lord. For as the heaven is higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Our thoughts and our ways need to grow up and line up with the word of God. Tell your neighbor on tonight, all of us need to grow up in some shape, form, or fashion for the kingdom business, for the ministry, and for the mission. We be too focused on everything else, Sister Adam, but not the kingdom business, and not the ministry, and not the mission. Jesus was always healing the sick. Jesus was always focused on ministry. Jesus was always focused on helping somebody else. Jesus was always focused on his father's business. Jesus was always spreading the gospel and not spreading his legs uh, and not spreading the gospel. Uh, Jesus was always focused on the ministry. Certain things we should look past when we are focused on God. It's just certain things we should look past when we're focused on God. I'm saying my own self. That's why I said pray for my late demon. I had a late demon for the church. I had a late demon on the job. So my manager know I'm not lying. My pastor know I'm not lying. But we got to get focused and pay it forward. We got to do better, Sister Lori. If I know, if I know, Minister Wade, that I need grace and mercy, what's stopping me from giving somebody else grace and mercy? Do you not know you need grace and mercy? I don't care who we are. You can be 8 to 80, blind, crippled, or crazy. We all need some grace and some mercy. We got to pay it forward, saints. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, pay it forward. What is stopping us from showing love for real? What is stopping us tonight from showing kindness for real? What is stopping us from showing forgiveness for real? We say we forgive you Monday, but we bring it back up Tuesday. We say we love you on Sunday, but when I see you on Wednesday, I turn my face another way. We got to grow up, people. All of us got to grow up in some area. Our time is winding up. 
No man know the day nor the hour when we're going to leave this earth. But we got to get it together. We're going to roll this church Going to roll with us or without us, but it's going to roll. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, service going to go forth whether you hear or not. We should have a mind and a heart to pay it forward. And I'm not talking about no money tonight. Hallelujah. We should have a mind and a heart to pay it forward. Our mind and heart has to flow with the same motion all the time. You can't be loving me Monday and then can't stand me Tuesday. It's something wrong with you. It's something wrong with you if you got that spirit and you got that attitude. We all need help. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, you might not be that one, but I'm coming down the avenue. You got a bad attitude. You got a bad spirit. You don't want nobody to speak to you. When they speak to you, your head go to hurt, and then you ready to lead a church. Church. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, you got to pay it forward. Do you know you can't pay it forward? Let me tell you why we can't pay it forward. Because our minds and hearts is in two different places. You can't be with God and the devil. You're going to be for God or you're going to be for the devil. You're going to be for the spirit or you're going to be for the flesh. I'm talking about my own self. Our mind and hearts in two different places. We try to pay it forward. But our minds be unstable. We try to play it four minutes away. Try to act like we so stable. We can't get God favor because we unstable. It says James 1 and 8, a double-minded man is in unstable in all his ways. He ain't say in God's ways. He say in his own ways. When we always think we right and we be wrong, we in our own ways. Nobody can't tell us nothing. We think we know everything. We think we done been everywhere. We think we done saw everybody. The Bible says in Proverbs 19, I can't, I'm going to paraphrase. A false witness telling lies. Lying on folks for no reason. Got an attitude with people for no reason. You ain't going to escape. Keep lying if you want to. They're going to be having your home going. Keep lying. I said it as a prophet. Keep lying. We're going to be having your home going right across this, right across this pulpit. I hate to say it, but I'm telling you what does said the Lord. Time is winding up. It's winding up for the apostle, the prophet, the pastor, the teacher, the evangelist, the pew sitter, the pew rider. It's winding up for everybody. We got to get ourselves together. And I'm not pointing out nobody. But if this word hits you, just say, ouch, we got to pay it forward. Talking to my own self minister away, we look like we so stable, honey. Looks can be deceiving. What eyeballs are you looking with? You looking with your flesh eyeballs? Or are you looking with the spirit of God eyeball? Looks can be deceiving. It can look right, but it ain't right. I'm telling you, we look stable, but we have crazy. Better pay it forward. Rub you the wrong way. I'll be at the mad. I rub you the wrong way. But I want to tell them, Bruce, I love you. I don't want to be at the mad with my church family. I go there with some folk, more folks. But I don't want to go no shootout like Bruce said. We got to pay this love forward. We got to pay this forgiveness forward. When people hurt you, you got to pay it forward because you hurt somebody. You got an attitude with somebody. You ain't always been right. I don't care who you are. Ain't nothing gonna happen. You best to pay it forward. Keep on loving, keep on praying, keep on fasting. I got a spiritual hit man named Jesus. I got a spiritual hit man, brother Isaac, named Jesus. And got some fools in the flesh that'll hit you too, but I don't want them to hit you. Matter of fact, let me testify before I get done. We like to got ran over tonight coming to church. I said, Lord, have mercy. I'm so glad I ain't got that thing, Jesus. They like to ran over us, Bruce, with the baby and all the folks in the truck, driving like some fool. But I had to pay it for it. I had to get myself in check. I was beating on that dashboard because they almost hit my side. I said, devil, you a liar. We going to make it to church. We going to pay for it. We going to pray for the young crazy lady driving like a demon from hell. 
But I got in my flesh just for a moment. Uh, I saw myself saying, Lord, have mercy. I would have been calling Pastor Kainai. Minister Wade would have had to preach. But the Lord did not let her run over us. He kept, he was right on my side. I hit that thing. Lord, oh, Lord. God, let me pay it for it. Glad I left that thing at home tonight. Hallelujah. It would have been a test. I probably would have failed. How can we get healed? Remember I said we look stable. We got all these titles. We got all this stuff. We live here. We, oh, I don't go there. I don't go to that area of Memphis. I don't go to that side of town. All right, you better pay it forward. You'll be living back on that side of town with the wrong spirit and the wrong attitude. He said, how can you get healed from being double minded James 4 and 8. Draw nigh to God, and he'll draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners. Purify your hearts, ye double-minded. Tell your neighbors to neighbor, make up your mind. It's about time you make up your mind. St. Matthew 19 and 16. I'm going to paraphrase it for time's sake, but I'm going to read. Anyway, hallelujah. You remember the young man called Jesus the good master? He said, what, what can I do to gain eternal life? The Bible says in Matthew 19, 17 through 24, 16 through 24, And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good things shall I do that I may have eternal life? I want to tell them people on Facebook and anybody else, you came back, that's for sure. You got to pay it forward. You got to get saved. Ask God to sanctify you. Believe in the son Jesus Christ who rose from the dead. That's no longer dead. Uh, but he's living so we can pay for it. And he said in the word, he said unto him, why callest thou me good? There is none good but one that is God. But if thou would enter into the life, keep the commandment. He said unto him, which Jesus said, thou shalt do no murder. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness. Honor thy father and thy mother. And thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Most of us, Sister Adam, get a F minus in loving our neighbor as ourselves. We think we got everything else down packed. Well, you don't got that part down packed. You missing loving your neighbor as yourself. The young man said unto him, all these things have I kept from my youth. What lack I yet? Glory, he up there talking about, I, I done done all that, Jesus. I done done everything you name. Yeah, but you ain't willing to pay it for it. Jesus said unto him, if thou would be perfect, go and sell thou hast and give to the poor. And thou shalt have treasure in heaven and come and follow me. But when the young man heard that saying, he went away sorrowful, for he had great possessions. Don't let your possessions stop you from paying your love for it. Don't let your possessions stop you from forgiving folks. Don't let your possessions get you in trouble. Don't get the big head because of some possessions. Then said Jesus unto his disciples, Verily I say unto you that a rich man shall hardly enter into the kingdom of heaven. And again, I say unto you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. God wants you to see spiritually and not naturally. You know a camel ain't going through no needle. Use your spiritual imagination. You got to pay it forward. If you got $2 million, look out for somebody. If you got two dollars, look out for somebody. If you got two coats, give a coat to your brother or your sister in need. Don't you sit up there and eat up everything and I'm hungry. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, pay it for it. He that had pity upon the poor, lending unto the Lord. And that which he had given, will he pay him again? Three points to ponder while we paying it forward. What does it cost any of us? to pay it forward. What does it cost any of us to pay it forward? 
What does it cost any of us to be nice to one another? What does it cost any of us to pray for one another? The Bible says it costs us our flesh. Our flesh don't want to get out the way. Flesh got too much pride. Our flesh in the way of God. Our flesh in the way of the commandments. Our flesh in the way of the promises. Galatians 5, 17. For the flesh lusted against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary, the one to the other, so they cannot do the things that they would. We bless you, Lord, on tonight. What does it cost any of us to pay it forward? First of all, it costs us our flesh. And then it costs us our heart to get right, Sister Penny. Our hearts got to get clean. David said in 51 and 10 of Psalm, create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew the right spirit within me. I got to pray 24-7 that I maintain the right spirit. And that spirit is going to bind up the demonic spirit that causes me to be late because uh, I'm in the flesh. Uh, I don't have no excuse. Uh, I want to pay it forward for God. Uh, I want to pay it forward for you. Uh, but our flesh get in the way, men Samba. Our heart gets in the way, y'all. Uh, and our thoughts get in the way. Uh, tell your neighbor, said neighbor, our thoughts are not God's thoughts. Uh, and our ways are not God's ways. Uh, but I'm trying to pay it forward. Uh, I'm trying to tell you on tonight uh, how to pay it forward for the Lord. Uh, see, God's not going to come out of heaven uh, and pay it forward. Uh, but he will open up a window from heaven uh, and pull you out a blessing uh, that you don't have room to receive. Uh, keep doing the right thing. Uh, keep believing the right thing. Uh, keep trusting the right thing. Uh, Keep calling on the right king. Uh, pay it forward for the Lord. Uh, pray my strength in the Lord. Uh, Jesus hung, bled, and died. Uh, and got up uh, so that we could pay it forward. The next time they cross you, forget about yourself. Pay it forward for the Lord. Uh, the next time they get on your nerve, uh, fall on your knees uh, and say, Lord, help me, God. Uh, to pay it forward for somebody uh, cause they don't know uh, what we know uh, they don't know how good God has been to us uh, pray my strength in the Lord uh, you can stand all over the building on tonight uh, Jesus hung, bled and 